Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and it is day eight of my Mills and Boone writing adventure. I have coaching clients all day and I have squeezed in a 30 minute writing session as part of my lunch break. I have to say, I am now in awe of those writers who write novels in their spare time. It's quite challenging to move your head, or it is for me to move my head from work mode or coaching mode into writing mode. And it took me quite a while to get back into that world. It's a whole different world. I've also decided to send my first chapter in a bit to some of my friends for them to read. I wanna see if it has any hooks for the reader if they can identify with the story at any level whether they think it's any good i'm having one of those days where i'm reading it and thinking oh i'm not sure about this i'm not sure about this at all and i'm sure all writers go through that actually this is probably total rubbish phase I'm just hoping it's a brief phase <laughs> oh, see you tomorrow Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and it is day nine of my romantic fiction writing adventure. Last night, as planned, I sent the first chapter and a bit to two of my friends for feedback. And the first piece of feedback is already in and I'm pleased to say it's good. And I was also sent some top tips about what I might change. And I've taken on board the feedback and it was about creating the words I would use, more rhythm, more ebb and flow in the main female character's relationship with men and masculine energy. So I created some resistance and some yielding. Mm. And it seems to have worked actually quite like what I have written and I sent it back for instant editorial approval. So now I've decided that my two friends are my editing team, my editorial team, and I will take on board what they say and work the suggestions into my text and see how it brings the text to life in a different way. So this morning I've managed to write for an hour, 500 words, been quite productive, and I am working at the pace of the story. Also, I got a great tip from one of my Facebook friends, Christy, who suggested how to ease the transition from work head to writing head. So yesterday and before, when I was moving into writing mode, I kind of parachuted into the story. And it was almost like the characters were completely aware that I just parachuted and I disrupted everything. It's like, whoa, what do you think you're doing? We're busy playing out a story here and now you've just interrupted everything and Christie's approach was a lot gentler so she would quiet herself and then immerse herself soak herself into the story and then be more of a shadow observing the story from the sidelines so once I'm in once I'm parachuted in that's what I do I'm throwing myself into the story and then observing it but I think this idea of sliding in, almost unnoticed, creaking open the door, walking into the story, closing the door quietly behind me, and just letting the action, the storyline continue, that will be helpful. In fact, it was helpful. That's what I tried this morning. Cup of coffee, a gentle settling, and less resistance to what I thought might happen, and more openness to the possibility of the story writing itself in new ways. So, yeah, it's been a good 24 hours in the big Mills and Boone house and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and it's day 10 of my romantic fiction writing adventure. Today I have experimented with the time, the point in the day at which I sit down to write. Up until now, I've been squeezing a writing slot into my lunch break or writing before the main work of the day. And I have to say that it's felt a little bit pressured. Today, 
I have written for an hour after finishing work and it was a completely different experience. It felt like a real treat and I had plenty of space and time to write even though I allocated myself the same amount of time. So I managed to write a whopping 750 words and I really enjoyed it. It was very easy for me to slide into the story and stay in the story because there was not the pressures of the outside world trying to pull me out. So that was a big learning for me and I think where possible I will write after work rather than before work or during work. I've also really come to understand a quote I came across a couple of days ago, and here it is. It says, writing a novel is like driving a car at night. You can only see as far as your headlights, but you can make the whole trip that way. That was written by someone called E.L. Doctorow. I think that's how you say that name. So it's that idea that while you're in the story and watching it, you can only see so far. And it's not really that far at all. And once I've come, if you like, to the end of the lamplight, I stop writing. I down tools. And so I have that sense of edging forwards and being on a road to discovery. The story is revealing itself gradually. Today, I had to engineer two deaths. That was based on the feedback from one of my friends to increase the sense of isolation and loneliness of, of one of the main characters. And I did that and it was fun researching the realisticness of the death I had created. And I knew I got it right because as I began to write it, I felt despair, isolation, a real cut offness from life, a real kind of inner deadness, perfect. So, yep, yeah, I've learned some important things. I am really enjoying it and I have cracked working at the pace of the story, letting things reveal themselves when the time is right. So yes, hello, this is Jane Talbot and it is day 11 of my romantic fiction writing adventure. Today I have been writing and editing for about an hour and having learnt that it's best for me to write after all my work tasks for the day are done, completed my admin, got a cup of coffee and then got down to it. For the editing, I decided I'd read what I've done so far to make sure it all flows well and I was guided by a quote that I found by Stephen King and this is what he says. He says, when you write a story, you're telling yourself the story. When you rewrite, your main job is taking out all the things that are not the story. So I decided I would strip away anything that wasn't completely necessary, make sure that everything fitted together and where need be, where there were gaps, holes that needed filling in, that's what I did. I wrote about 570 words in the hour. I am now at about the four and a half thousand word mark and that for me is about halfway through the first three chapters. After I've completed the first three chapters and written the synopsis of the whole book I'm ready to send it off to Mills and Boone. So I feel that today is important. It's important for two reasons. One is I've reached the halfway point of the first three chapters and the other is I've reached the fulcrum point in the story, the tipping point, the point beyond which everything is inevitable. And that inevitab inevitability feels really exciting.